Pirpens TV Government has taken note that the planned marches today have started in a peaceful manner by members of the public, civic organizations and some political parties. Government implores all participants to respect the constitutional rights of others. Government has the duty to protect and ensure the safety and security of all people in South Africa. The law enforcement agencies have a constitutional obligation to protect and ensure all citizens are and feel safe in our country. SAPS will maintain a visible presence during these democratic activities. Last night, SAPS gave an assurance to the country that they will maintain public order in the execution of the mandate relating to crowd control. Government appeals to all political parties and other formations to allow the law enforcement agencies the space to work and safeguard property and protect those participating in the marches in line with the regulation of the Gatherings Act of 1993. It is also critical that marches respect the rights of citizens not participating in the marches as they disperse this afternoon. It is equally important that journalists are able to do their work without hindrance from attacks or intimidation from political parties and marches. Freedom of expression and the protection of the press is a pillar of our democracy. South Africa has a proud history of respect for the constitution and holding of free and fair elections since it achieved democracy. The people voted overwhelmingly for this government in 2014 elections. South Africa is a democratic society which encourages public participation and our democracy creates space and encourages active citizenry. We further call on all participants to ensure that the marches remain within the designated areas and refrain from any form of intimidation and destruction of property. Let us continue to move South Africa forward. I thank you. We reject this national shutdown as the Black First Land movement. We are convinced that this is an imperialist agenda to illegally remove the president of this country. We believe as a movement that the president is on the right track. He's talking about radical transformation of the economy. He's talking about the redistribution of land, land to the black people. This is an agenda that threatens white people who own the economy of this country. That's why they are calling for a regime change so that they can have a black puppet president that they can control. transformation. When you hear what happened in state capture and the allegations made about his connection with his family. Yeah, um, we, we are clear that the president is under attack, particularly because of his alliances with the BRICS Development Bank, his alliances with Russia and China. But also, white mainstream media in this country has been feeding a lie to black people to say the problems that concern black people in South Africa have to do with Gupta and the president. Wow! Getting the, 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 the attention of the people. 